Good morning, evening, or afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for episode seven of How to Play Seven Days to Die Beginner's Guide. Okay, so in the last video, we finished up the little bit of uh, trader quest that we had left over. So in this video, I think we're going to be working on trying to farm up a little bit of wood and everything just to get something started for a horde night. Uh, I think we're going to be doing the takeover of a POI for horde night. That's probably the best way to start until you can get your actual base built if you decide to do so. It's totally feasible to just sit there and do nothing but um, POIs for horde nights. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then we're going to probably start building our own little base just in case you want to do that. That way you'll get a little bit of both. And basically right now we're just, we need as much wood as we can get because we're going to need spikes and things like that. So uh, also we're going to want to try to get our forge together so we can do some barbed wire fences and maybe some poles. And I think think that should be about good. Uh, one thing I do need to do is I need to go back and eat real quick before we get started. And apparently I have trees grown up inside of my base here. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. We're not going to use this little base right here because it's not really useful anymore. Uh, so I'll probably take that apart as well while I'm at it. But we're just grabbing food right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I, I'm pretty sure we got some stuff to eat in here. We haven't cooked anything up yet, and I don't have these skill points to put into that at the moment. I'm not going to worry about eating any of that. I recommend holding on to all your meat and stuff until you can actually cook something decent with it. Uh, usually that only takes like one point, so you can technically get into there to the ability to do it pretty early game. In fact, you can do it as soon as you finish your first quest if you really want to. Uh, we're going to hold on to this beaker because this beaker is very, very useful. That's for a chem station later. Uh, go ahead and just dump all of this stuff that we're not going to use in here. And I think we should be about good here. We're not going to use the awesome sauce yet. We will be using the awesome sauce later for when we do major stuff at the traders. So like when we're buying... Maybe a vehicle or something like that. All right, so let's see. Do we have any food here? I don't know if we do. Okay, so we've got a couple old sham sandwiches. I'm going to go ahead and eat those. Hopefully, we don't get sick off of them. And also, we've got the large beef rations. I'm going to do that first. So this can or canned food has 0% chance of food poisoning. So anytime that you can eat canned food over anything else, absolutely do it. Especially if you don't have any points in the iron gut or anything like that. Iron gut's very, very useful, by the way. It'll save you a lot of food in the long run. So I'm just waiting for the picker to finish up. Okay, there we go. And we can eat some more. Now, you notice how my food is going over what my maximum stamina is. That's the thing you can actually do in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one real quick. So you can actually bring your stam or bring your food up past your stamina by 50. And I absolutely recommend doing that. And we need some honey as well because we did get an infection last night. So we're going to use that. And also take this bandage and use it so we can get our max health up and continue to eat. All right, so we're getting close. Um, I'm going to go ahead and max out my food before I turn in the trader uh, quest. And then we're going to see what we got going on there. There may be some good stuff at the trader too, so we're going to check that out while we're at it. We've already got 4,700 uh, dukes here, so that could be very useful. Hopefully we... Yeah, that should max us out. Hopefully we've got enough to get something good. Once we turn this one in, and then we will go ahead and start gathering. I think in order to gather, we're going to go on and take a forge and make some tools as well. Ooh, yes, we did. We got the SMG. Okay, so the SMG is a really good uh, weapon for early game. So we're definitely taking that. Uh, we're going to go on and pick up another job just to be on the safe side. And we don't have anything super close. I think the closest one's going to be a buried supplies about 643 meters away. So we'll take that one. 
I always like to try to take the closest one to us at any time. All right, so he will be restocking day seven. So we'll try to remember that. Uh, we do have a magazine extender mod, I think. I think I saw one in there. But one thing we do need, uh, let's see. First off, we're going to grab this because this is very important. The double storage uh, pocket mod schematic. It'll get rid of uh, two of our, or I believe two of our encumbered slots here for each one we make. And now we can make them. So that's uh, pretty amazing, actually. We've got a mini bike chassis here, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to be specking into those shortly. Let's see. I need to grab any ammo that they may have for the SMG as well. So let's look. Uh, they don't have any regular ammo for it, so we're going to hold off on that. I don't see the point in buying the, or actually they don't have any at all. And I don't see the point in buying like a AP ammo and stuff like that that early. That's usually for later Horde Nights that you'd want that. Okay, so that is destroyed. We're going to go ahead and see about making a forge sometime soon. I, we should have everything we need for it. We need small stone, clay soil, leather, duct tape, and short iron pipe. So let's go back and see if we can do that. And use this. So we can see pocket. Okay, so that's going to take a workbench, which we don't have yet. We're going to be specking into that very, very soon though. So let's see. They're not too expensive. We can deal with it, what we need for that. I think we might already have it actually. But we're going to go ahead and do a forge up real quick. We're just going to put it on top of this little thing up here. We can always get rid of it or pull it up later. Yeah, we have, have the magazine extender mod and a couple ammo. So let's go home, ahead and grab those. In order to mod these weapons, you just click on the weapon here and hit modify. And then you can shift click the, uh, the mod into it and hit complete. You can also move it in there if you want to. So that's not a big deal. All right, so we got that done. Let's go ahead and look for what we need for our forge. We needed leather, we needed clay soil, we need... What else was it? You'd think I would actually have this memorized by now, but I don't. Okay, so clay soil, small stone, duct tape, and short iron pipe. Okay, so we've got the duct tape here. We should have some short iron pipe around here somewhere. If we don't, we'll have to go get some. Yeah, we do. And let's see, we need more small stone. So that's the key today, I think, is small stone. All right. We're going to need that anyway for our base thing that we're going to do. I think we're going to take over this grocery store over here for the first Horde Night. So we'll get that set up for Horde Night. It doesn't really matter what kind of building you take over. As long as you, as long as you can defend it, you're fine. Uh, it's empty and come on over here. We should be able to find some stone over here somewhere. If not, we can always dig for it. Go ahead and reload the gun here. Now we're definitely going to want to try to get our forge and our workbench up before day seven that way we can make some ammo for the guns shouldn't be too hard actually okay so let's see how much wood do we have we've got 23 wood frame block and 301 wood we don't quite have enough but we're getting close uh let's see we can, ooh, I didn't even realize we had this over here. I think we've already hit this though for the quest, right? For a trader quest? Yeah, we have. All right, so there's a couple things we can do here. We can take our shovel here and we can actually shovel this up for some cement, which is gonna be good and useful later. Uh, we need a cement mixer for all of that, but it's gonna help us out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and grab all of this up while we're here. And there's also cobblestone in these blue ones. Uh, cobblestone is something that we're going to be using very, very soon. So we might as well grab that up. That just saves us from having to make it ourselves. 
and farming up extra rock and all of that fun stuff. We will be making cobblestone. All right, so let's go here. We've got lead deposits all over the place and a couple iron deposits. That's really nice, actually. Usually iron's kind of the hardest to find that I've seen, especially in this biome. But anytime that you can find a bunch of those, you're, you're pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know I missed that, uh thing back there so we'll go loot it in just a minute I just wanted to make sure I got all the stuff out of there and boom all right so we got us a Zambet over here so let's go take care of him there's two of them actually this is just for the experience here and I'm scanning around for stone like the big stone behind him so we're just going to clear this area out and work on getting that stone. I am saving my bullets for when I need them. As usual. Okay, so the reason why we're worried about getting the forge up so quickly is that way we can take the forged iron and all of that uh, and actually use... Do we have a point to spend? Yes, we have two points to spend. We're actually going to have to put a point into Miner 69er here so we can start making tools. So there we go. We can now uh, make level two iron tools, which is going to be really, really helpful. Get rid of this little stone axe thing that we got going here. So your higher level tools, uh, they're going to actually, or not higher level, but your other types of tools like uh, iron and steel tools, they're actually going to increase the amount that you get per hit and how hard you hit and everything like that. So uh, everything in the game kind of synergizes with uh, each other. So specific skills and stuff like that are more useful than others. Uh, as long as it, it's really according to your play style as to what you want to put your points into, obviously. If you want to build, then uh, there's some things to do, gathering and stuff like that. If you don't like the build and you just like killing zombies and looting, there's also other skills for that. We're going to be getting into that very shortly, actually. Uh, let's see. In fact, let's look at our points real quick. Um, we're at four or five lucky looter. We're getting really close. We're going to need two points for this, which I don't really see the point in going too far in the lucky looter right now. We can do this later. We're going to actually start spending our points elsewhere. Now, fortitude's a good place to start spending points as well. Because then we'll or not not fortitude. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, strength is probably the best place for us right now that way we can start cooking actual food instead of the fake food that we've been eating so i'm going to go ahead and do bachelor here that'll allow us to cook a little bit better stuff and we are going to be getting cooking pot and a uh cooking grill as well so that's going to be good in fact i think we have a cooking pot back at the base if i remember correctly all right so here's a zambi we're also going to start worrying about looting as soon as possible because that's going to help us out. Instead of doing all the trader quests and things like that, I think we're just going to continue to loot. We are continuing slightly the trader quests. If we happen to be close to them, we're going to take care of them. I'm going to come up here. Ooh, ooh, look at this glitch. I'm going to take care of what we're doing here okay so make sure he doesn't hit you because if he does chances are he's going to bleed you out those things actually hit pretty hard as you see it did take two shots for him sometimes it does most of the time it doesn't it's really according if you get a uh, sneak shot in get away from him if you're quick enough on those, you can actually recover from a missed spear toss.
We could put points in our spear since we're using it as much as we are, but we're not going to need that for Horde Knight and all of that fun stuff, so I'm not too worried about it yet. Um, really, I would recommend at this point that we put points in the survivability. So we can go longer without food and things like that, and we can actually cook our own foods. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on the beginning. We're going to put about three points into pretty much every tree. Uh, let's see. There might be... I don't think we need anything in agility quite yet, so we're going to hold off on that one. And we're going to put points into... Let's see. We need to get our advanced engineering up and our grease monkey to at least one because that's going to give us that bicycle. Uh, we need to actually get at intellect up to... I think level two or three for this. Yeah, level two. So we need to put the next two points I think we're going to put in the Grease Monkey. Because we do have advanced engineering, we can make a forge already. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do this time. Is head on back there and get our forge started. And we can pick up the forge later. So we're not worried about where we put it at the moment. We just need to make it. See, do we have enough stone now? We don't. I think we do, actually. Yeah, we've got enough. So we're going to go ahead and make our forge on our way back. And continue to pick up stone along the way because we're going to need more of it. We're not too worried about concrete yet. When you do get the concrete, you're going to be leveling like a madman. So that is something to think about. If you're tired of doing the long grind, you might want to think about getting a concrete mixer. Let's take care of him. Alright. I don't want to lose my spear here. Yeah, that's kind of useful too how, I don't know if you noticed there, but when we killed the zombie, he stopped being electrocuted, so that lets us know he's dead. And I think we've cleared this place out already, and if we have, then we're going to go ahead and start thinking about getting that ready for Horde Knight. And in fact, well no, I don't want to put the forge in there just in case they actually take the place down. Nope. Be prepared for a quick hit if you need to in these places. Uh, there we go. Like I said, you don't actually have to break those things in order to get in them. There's going to be a guy probably behind. Ooh. Behind here. Nope. Most of the. I've seen a lot of. The old versions of the game usually had people back there, but not anymore, I guess. So we're just going to loot this place up while we're here. It's usually a good idea, no matter what you're doing, if you find a place like this, uh, these have pretty good loot at the end. If you find a place like this, go ahead and loot it up, as long as you've got the inventory space. Never hurts the loot, you know? Okay, so like, we can go here. Seems like I'm getting a little bit of a uh, map glitchiness today. I think it might be because they've done a couple updates since uh, I've made this seed. And it may have something to do with the random gen. Okay, we're going to cut that off just so uh, we don't go waking all the zombies up as soon as we see them. Well, we woke them up anyway. back lady there we go okay so we're going to continue looting this place uh usually i'd want to clear the place out before i loot but i'm pretty familiar with this one okay so yeah so we can actually reach in here there's another zombie over here let's take care of them first i'm pretty familiar with this one which is why i don't necessarily loot it or wait to loot it All 
All right, so let's go finish this up. We need to get in here. Sometimes they're a little hard to get into. You, like I said, you can loot everything without breaking it. It's designed that way. It's a nice little mini game to play with yourself. See if you can go through and loot everything without uh, having to break anything. Let's see. Ooh, Ranger's Guide to Archery. We're, yeah. We're going to use that up. Like I said, always use a book. That could be useful later if we get a better, like, a, say, a compound bow or something. And I believe the archery stuff actually works for the... Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, this is the one. Okay, so funny thing is there's possibly a bird up here. We got to be careful because I have actually, in one of my save games, actually ended up having to restart the save game because I lost my entire bag in this area. Because a, um, a zombie bird decided that it wanted to eat me when I came through here. I'm just going to go ahead and break this. That's the only way I figured out how to get up here easily. And, ooh, we just missed our... Let's see. Where is it? I'm going to show you... Okay, so right here, if you can make it to this, I've got mine to where it's not marked, but if you can make it to that right there, I recommend getting them. They usually have... Pretty good things in them. They're airdrops. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and mark it later. Or for the next uh, few episodes. Just so I can show you guys what's in one. Okay, so we need to get back in there. Parkour is not my strongest ability, by the way. Not terrible at it, but I'm not the greatest either. All right, so I think that might be it for in here, right? I don't think there was... There is a loot room, I believe, but it's... Let's see. That might have been it. I don't remember. Oh, right here. Yeah, so we come around the side here. Usually these hidden areas are where the loot's... The good loot's at. So like on this, the, the roof here. And there's probably zombies wherever the loot is. Oh, that was just an easy way in. Okay, so yeah, there is the easy way in. And there, there's our dude that I was telling you about. I'm kind of waiting for him to swoop in on me. So I can get a good shot and don't destroy them. Because if you hit them while they're too high up, they're going to fall into the ground. We'll just go ahead and grab the chest. Ooh, nice stuff. So let's see. We can get rid of that stun baton. Let's see. What are we going to grab here? We're going to wear these boots and pick that up. We are full on loot though. So we are going to have to go back to the base and at least dump. There we go. Uh, let's see. We can, we don't need this yet. So let's see what we can get rid of here. We can eat the food and pick that up. Although we did already fill up on food. So uh, that was probably not the best thing to do. See if we can pick up this uh, bird. I don't. Yeah, there he is. Uh, I didn't think I was going to find him. Now, I believe that's animal fat that's dropping. The rotting flesh. Ooh, we need that. Okay, so get rid of these plant fibers and pick up the rotting flesh. Rotting flesh is actually good, believe it or not, like I said earlier. So we're going to make sure we pick all of that up. Also, uh, one question I have for you guys. Would you like to see some like short little five-minute videos on like quick tips and tricks and stuff like that? Uh, maybe on talent choices or gun choices, just comparisons and things like that. Because I've thought about doing some of those videos. They wouldn't be too hard to do. So I'm thinking about maybe releasing like one or two a week for you guys if you want. Uh, just some little tips, supplemental things from the guide. 
All right, so we're getting pretty close to the base here. So I'm just oh, okay. Yeah, we're already at the base. Never mind. I was gonna go ahead and fast forward. So now that that place is looted, we're good to actually create a little mini base out of it. And it's only gonna be for Horde Night. We're not gonna live there or anything like that. So I'm gonna probably just go ahead and create a little stilt base here to where we can hide at night. Not really trying to do anything special, nothing for hordes or anything like that. Just a place for us to get away from the zombies while we're doing our crafting and things like that. I've always liked platforms. I don't know why. It's just kind of nice. It's kind of like living in a treehouse when you were a kid. You always wanted to do that, didn't you? All right. So let's go ahead and finish this up. And we'll start actually filling in these things as well. Uh, we do have... Yeah, let's go ahead down here and take care of that tree that was just randomly sitting there for no reason. And let's see. We've got a... What was that? That was a level 2 claw hammer here. So we'll use that, put this in here, and boom. Start dumping things in the chest. So it'll be easier for us. I'm going to grab this wooden chair because I was going to scrap that. Ooh. Ooh. That was, uh, polite. Where is he at? Oh, it's day four. Okay, so yeah, day four, you generally tend to get like a little dog horde of sorts. Okay. Gotta watch out for them. Uh, did I? No, I didn't get rid of my bone shiv yet. Good. It's always good though, because it'll actually feed you if you can survive it. As usual, chopping these guys up because it's good meat and the meat is good very, very soon, actually. We can now cook. So all we're going to put up in our little base area there, we're going to put a forge and, or yeah, a forge and a campfire as well. We don't want to put any more than that in our first little base because we're going to get a lot of screamers if we do. And I don't know if you know about screamers yet, but there's something you definitely don't want to mess with early game. They'll actually call. They'll actually call more zombies. So you got to be careful with them. If they see you, they look kind of like the, uh, you'll know them when you see them. They look kind of like the girl from the ring. In fact, I think they modeled it after that girl, the one that crawls out of the TV. All right, so let's dump this stuff off. Seems like a pretty hot spot right now, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and eat some sham. And start dropping the rest of this stuff off. Uh, I, I am going to carry my 9mm with me. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Because you never know when zombies and stuff like this sneak up on you. This is probably the, the best I've been doing on food in forever. I think it's because I'm only playing for about 30 minutes at a time. Where I usually play a lot longer. Like I said, usually on stream we play a lot longer. Uh, let's see. Ooh. I'm going to grab this and this. I, I don't think we have enough stone yet. Oh wait, we've already made a forge, didn't we? Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start upgrading the base thing here. And we are going to place our forge and a campfire up there. We do have cooking pots, so we're going to use one of these. And I don't think we have a grill yet. If we don't, we may have to make one. Oh, we do. Good. Perfect. All right, so let's go on up here and start building away. So just this right here is plenty to start with. Um, I'm going to go on and fill those in and everything. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the uh, upgrading here. So I'll see you when we get done. OK, 
Okay, so we are out of wood. It's time to go get a little bit more. This is one of the reasons why we're doing the wood thing here. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, we've got a couple spots open here, so I need to do a little bit of pre-planning. Okay, so uh, these are going to be the walls on the outside. So if I want to actually put a little forge in here, I can go ahead and drop one if I want. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because it's best to do this while we can. Uh, I don't like putting the forges on the walls and the bases like this. So I'm going to bring it in by one on both sides just because that's just a personal preference. I don't like things being up against the wall because it makes things a little bit of a pain later. All right, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and start up some iron so we can make us some tools. We've got 17 forged iron here. I'm just grabbing everything that I can, that uh, everything I can use in the forge at the moment. So that would be coal, wood, brass. The coal you can use for burning in the forge. We're going to hold on to the bullet casings because that's what we're going to be making out of all the brass. There's nothing else in the game worth making out of brass. In fact, I don't think you can make anything out of brass other than bullet or bullet uh, casings. So let's see that brass and so we're grabbing like any iron, any, any kind of metals, uh, including short iron pipes. Uh, we're not going to do the springs. Those are too useful later. So we're going to hold on to those. The empty cans we can do the sledgehammer. Since I don't do sledgehammers, I'm going to go ahead and burn that. I think we can, uh, let's see brass, the coal we're going to be using as a fuel as well. And I, we can take the rest of those cooking pots and put them in there. The lead trophy. And we also need to make us a campfire real quick. So let's do that. There we go. That way we can grab this food up as well. Uh, anything food oriented. We're going to grab that. We're probably going to put that up top with us. Uh, we're going to grab some chrysanthemum and golden flower as well. That way we can make some tea. Tea is actually something that I've recently started using. Uh, it's really good in the game because it'll keep you from getting food poisoning and dysentery and all that fun stuff. So you'll definitely want to make as much of that as you can. Uh, let's see. I think we're almost done here. Don't quote me on that. I'm just looking through to make sure there's no food items here. Uh, we're going to probably move this rotting flesh up there too for now. All right. That looks like it might be about it. The moldy bread, you can make moldy bread out of, I think it's sham sandwiches and stuff later. Uh, that's useful for antibiotics and all of that fun stuff. So we'll probably be using that later. We got one beaker there. Do we have another one here? Nah, that would have been nice. Okay. So two beakers is what we need for our chem station. Even though we already have a working chem station in the trader, when we get our own place, we're probably going to want one pretty close by. Okay, so grab the glass jars as well, and I think that should be about it. Next time we go to the frozen biome that's nearby, we're going to go ahead and do something with that as well. We're going to start getting some snow up so we can deal with that. So I'm going to use this wooden ladder and stuff as fuel. Uh, let's see, we can do the wooden ladder and the coal as fuel. That'll give us 8 minutes and 50 seconds of burn time. That way we don't have to use our wood there. And I'm just going to put iron in there first. Uh, we are also going to need clay. So let me go drop down and grab that as well. Clay is very necessary in the forge. So make sure you have some of that at all times in the forge. Just about everything that you make inside of the forge requires it. I recommend when you start digging to just hold on to your clay and dump it all in your forge. Okay, so I'm going to put this right next to that. We are up against the wall. Ugh. After all that I said about not putting it against the wall. Okay, so this sledgehammer cannot be broken down. So we're not going to worry about that. If there's no timer there, that means it, it it's not going to burn down. It's basically what that boils down to. All right, so let's put this in there and this in there. We can take all of this out. Drop one, put that in here and let's put the wood in there just to see what we can make. We can make ba bacon and eggs now. This all oh, 11 bacon and eggs is amazing. 
This is why I like to hold on to my stuff before I start. And grilled meat is good, but boiled meat's going to be better for you. Uh, I recommend early using boiled meat because it gives you food and water back, and it gives you a decent bit of food too. And the only hold back on that is going to be water at the moment. So let's go ahead and do this. More boiled water. If you can do bacon and eggs though, absolutely do it. That's going to be your best food early game. So we'll let that burn. Hopefully we don't spawn any screamers over here. They just recently did a patch. So here we go. I think we're going to call it at this point though. Now that we've gotten something started. Uh... And I will meet up with you at this point next video. And like I said, if you want to see some shorter content, uh, hit me up in the comments. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you would. Uh, I would definitely appreciate it. That helps me get out to new people. And also, if you made it this far, how about thinking about, if you haven't already, swinging by and saying, hey, it, uh, on my Twitch page, the link is in the description. I will be streaming at 8 a.m. every day except for Mondays and Wednesdays. Have a good day.